I thought I would like to show you today was the proper way to open a wine bottle and some of the tools that we use to go ahead and achieve that. Some of the tools that we use are to start with will be a foil cutter. It's a little gizmo, that little plastic gizmo that uh, has foil cutters on the inside that you put on top of the neck of the bottle. Then to the actual openers itself, this one's probably been seen by everybody. This is what's called a bat wing. It's probably one of the oldest corkscrews in existence and this one happened to be belong to my grandfather. The other one is also known uh, as a waiter's best friend. You've probably seen it in all the restaurants. The waiters carry it um, with them all the time. They often carry it in their belt. And it works on a hinge like a knuckle so you can get an extra angle on it. Some of the newer ones, again, this is the waiter's best friend, actually has a Teflon corkscrew. It makes it much easier to get the uh, cork off the, off the corkscrew, especially with those new plastic corks that are difficult to get off. And the other one, one of the last ones to show you today, is probably the one that causes the most phobia with people. That is what's called the Asso. And this is also a very old style corkscrew. Notice it has two prongs and one is longer than the other. Let me go ahead and show you how this works now. So you secure the wine bottle by holding it so. Take your foil cutter, place it on top, gently squeeze and rotate the bottle removing the foil cap. Now the purpose for doing this is, in the old days, this was actually lead. And so what you want to do is get a nice even cut so when you pour the wine, the wine never touches the lead. Today it's more plastic and aluminum. So we, this foil cutter allows us to get a nice even trim around there. You can see that's, that's just perfect. So let's show you how the Asso works. Remember I started out by saying it has two long prongs. You want to take the longest one and go around the outside of the cork and make some dents just to kind of get the cork loosened up. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going around making some dents and again I'll show you, see that's the long side that I'm doing that with. Okay, once we've got the bottle secured, you notice the cork, uh, the also opener is set. What you want to do now is place your hand inside the little handle and just gently rock your wrist back and forth, gently pushing down. So now you'll notice the corkscrew is completely sunk into the top of the cork. Now I've got the corkscrew completely flush with the top of the cork. I'm going to hold the corkscrew and gently turn the bottle and pull at the same time. And you notice the cork slowly comes out. And there you have it. The perfect way to open a wine bottle.